Happy Wednesday. The gospel today is all about healing. It's, it's taken from the fourth chapter of Luke, about the healing of Simon's mother-in-law. When we talk about healing, we're all in need of it. We have good days, we have bad days, we have ups, we have downs. When we're knocked down, we need a pick-me-up, or as the Italians call it, a tiramisu. Sounds good, doesn't it? One of my favorite desserts. No matter how you're knocked down, Jesus is there to pick you up, especially when you're ill. That's why the church spends so much care and attention to health care and looking after those who are ill. We're also aware of those who have been miraculously cured at the shrines all over the world, like at Fatima and Lourdes. They remind us that Jesus wants to heal us today the same as he did in Palestine 2,000 years ago. Through the church, Jesus continues to heal, taking all those who are ill by the hand and lifting them up, saying, as we read in Mark 5:14, Talitha kum, which translated means, I tell you, get up. Let's have the faith and the healing power of Jesus and allow Jesus to take us by the hand when we are in need. Help us up. Let's have the faith and the power of Jesus to reverse bad situations. You know, in the bulletin, we have a long list of those who are ill. And yes, I'm on that list. Remember to pray for them, pray for us. And I promise I, I'll pray for you in return. I'm sure that if you are sick, that Jesus will help, help you up by the hand. Speaking of sick, I'm sure that Everyone is as tired as I am about all this virus stuff. The ones who contracted the virus have varying degrees of experience. Some, nothing at all. Some requiring hospitalization, and yes, some tragically have died. Whatever the case, COVID is here for a while, and we need to cope with it. Don't discount the power of prayer. Pray for those afflicted with the virus. In addition, pray for St. Augustine's as we... <coughs> <coughs> Wonderful. As we strive for some sense of normalcy as we reopen the church. Pray for our nation and, our, and its cities that have experienced destruction and looting by the peaceful protesters. Pray not only helps the physical maladies, but you may be experiencing you need more help. The spiritual is in need of healing as well. Come to Jesus in faith. Jesus cares about you. He cares about those you care about more than anyone else. He doesn't want anyone to be ill or injured or wounded in any way. He wants to see that you're well and enjoying life to its fullest. Let him take you by the hand and raise you up. Come to Jesus through faith. Reach out and touch him. 
In today's gospel from the fourth chapter of Luke is a mere presence of Jesus standing over Simon's mother-in-law was enough to cure her. God listens to your plans, listens to your prayers. Trust in him. And oh, by the way, if you haven't prayed in a while, maybe it's time to start. Maybe you don't know how. Maybe you've been away from it so long. My suggestion is start with the Lord's Prayer in a quiet place and just talk to Jesus. Tell him about your fears and your struggles and your dreams and your hopes. Talk to him. And you know a funny thing, the more you talk to him, the easier, the easier it gets. God bless.